So ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon, good evening and good night from wherever you're watching from. This is Anoto in China. It's a beautiful day. I'm here in this biblical garden and uh, the weather is uh, very pregnant with rains. Over there we have King Oji and uh, so much more around this place. So. I'm at Kitale Nature Conservancy, better known as Ndura, for the people who come from Kitale. And today, I want to take you along the nature trails. Last time I came, in a previous, previous, previous video, I came, but uh, because of time, I was not able to achieve whatever I had set in target because it was late in the night and it was raining as well so I could not I could not a million branch a million branches count to them anyway I just saw something that intrigued my mind so right here we are in Kitale Nature Conservancy Kitale Nature Conservancy is in Kenya, in Kitale, my hometown. And uh, last time I came here, I was not able to do the nature walk. But at least today, I get to beat around the bush and uh, explore. Keep the nature trail clean. Some uh, notices here. Don't overtake narrow lane ahead. So I'm here in the woods, I'm deep in the woods in Kitale Nature Conservancy. There's a road around this place going all the way to Kapenguria. You can hear the motorbike. That way it goes all the way to Kapenguria and this way it goes all the way to Kitale town. So this place is just along this Kitale Kapinguria Road. So let's cruise nicely. Let's enjoy the moment. Happy New Year. I hope your New Year is kicking for those who just finished the first half of the year or the first month of the year. We thank God for the gift of life and we are here to create more memories. So let's do this. Maybe it will rain to then so I'll just have to do it around but very quick. I want to show you around. Listen to the soothing music of a river tributary. There's a tributary where the rivers meet. One over there, one over here. Okay, this seems to be the main river goes all the way to maybe this is Sabuani or something I don't know quite clearly but I guess this should be Sabuani river it goes all the way to uh, river Ndoia there's a tributary another river joining it and continuing so this is where I am the skies are pregnant with rain so I want to do this in the next 30 minutes or so I want us to take along or to tag you guys along my journey here. These are old benches, a place you could chill, but seems they have been destroyed. Also, here. Did you notice this meander in this in the river? What is a river meander? Okay. When the river is corner cornering, like Mayugno always says, a river changes its course to form a meander due to deposition on one side of the river, sudden rays in the slope of the ground, of which the ground is flowing hard bedrock. And this is the 
processes in a river. Looking at a river, you may not be able to tell just how many activity goes on in that seeming, seemingly boring world. Physical processes. Number one, erosion. The formation of a river course largely depends on erosion. To cut out a path for the water, it involves two main forms of erosion, lateral and vertical. Number two, weathering. There are many forces that facilitate breakdown of rocks into small particles, e.g. abrasion. Biological processes, this include photosynthesis, water bodies generally support a wide range of hiving, living things, sorry, forming a food chain whose primary producers are photosynthesis organisms ranging from large plants to green algae decomposition where there is life death is inevitable the living organisms that die are acted upon by bacteria and fungus through a process called decay and this primarily is the way through which matter is decayed in an ecosystem so this is just a piece of information to tell you about uh, some basic, basic background of uh, the formation of a river, river meanders, and uh, what a view. Here they say it's a fishing spot over here. I would like to fish here. A river meander ideal for fishing. I would love to fish here, but now it's, the water is too much because it's been raining here very heavily, so we can't. We can't, we can't, we can't uh, go to fish. So taking it nice and easy, you can hear the lorry on the road. Forests are lungs of the earth. And here we have this beautiful, beautiful uh, biological process that has happened. And we can see this one. There, is it an algae or what is this, a lichen growing? This growing on this one maybe it rained heavily and then the soil around the roots were washed away because of erosion and uh, they could not hold the tree could not hold anymore so it broke and fell down. No, it fell down. The clean air here is a therapy to your lungs. Take a deep breath. I see. <sighs> and uh, here they say, bend your skull, don't injure your medulla oblongata. As cool as the coolest. It's just some motivation, motivation, motivation. Uh, I like to come to such places to unwind, to chill, to relax and connect with Mother Nature. And this place is full of activities or information. You turn ahead. Do not overtake. You turn, do not overtake. I wish you so many people could be here so that we relate and here there's a piece of information they want us to study so class seven interdependence between plants number one lichens this is by habitat the blue patches lichens this is lichen maybe they are dead and most the green one Listen. Anyway, let's keep on keeping. Uh -huh. So right about now, we want to keep uh, walking around this place, just to show you what is happening here in Kitale Nature Conservancy, and to appreciate nature. got a missed call but I'm meeting some guys at the boat riding I hope I'll be able to do 
a boat ride. So, have you taken note of this climber supporting itself on the palm and strangler fig? The structures you see on it are called hooks. And you have to know that uh, you must have thought they are thorns. These ones. This should be a ficus. These ones. What are these structures? This should be a... Oh, it looks like thorns anyway. So let's get to know that piece of information. Hooks emerge from the back while thorns emerge from the xylem vessels of a tree. Did you know that? That hooks emerge from the back. The back, B-A-R-K, the tree back. While thorns emerge from the xylem of a tree. Hooks easily break off, but they have to damage a branch to break. But you have to damage a branch to break off a thorn. So this is a little piece of information for you to notice these hooks growing from the back of a tree and they tell us these are not horns and they go all the way up, 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 up the hooks In this beautiful, beautiful tree then they say, look up and see the undergrateful fig tree. It is a swallow. It is swallowed. It swallowed his. What am I saying? So look up and see the under ungrat, ungrateful fig tree. Why ungrateful? We will come to to know. It has swallowed its host, the phoenix reclinata. Is that not bad? This one for the scientists is a scientific name, binomial nomenclature, the double noming system, and it's written wrong. They need to write this in italics, small letters, the first P should be capital and underlined for it to follow the Carolas Linear's uh, binomial nomenclature rules. So they say this is the ungrateful, this one. The unge ungrateful fig tree, ungrateful fig tree, it has been swallowed. It has swallowed the phoenix reclinata, and then it has consumed it and taken over completely. Is that an example of mutualism or something? This is. You can actually see the fig tree. This is the fig tree. It swallowed this tree. Swallow this tree. This tree here swallowed this tree and took over, went around it, round it, round it, and became independent on its own. Also, on this other end, you can see how the tree has swallowed the phoenix reclinata. How this tree has swallowed the phoenix reclinata, and that's the phoenix reclinata. And this took over. It. So it's a bad thing because it takes over, it colonizes the tree and it does not go away. It's here to stay. So here they say, watch your steps. Watch your steps. So there's one way that way, but I want to go this way. And here I need to take a a video on my phone because it's a beautiful beautiful view or a picture so this is it welcome to Kitali Nature Conservancy we are walking on this old old bridge you have to be careful not to fall down Look at this, going all the way that way, and all the way. Hey, bro! Niaje? Was that bigger picture? Okay. So let me take a photo here. 
here by the bridge. Oh, my son, you come on a recording. Oh, you have a flow now. You have a flow now. You have a flow now. You have the normal one, sir. I put a chance to Yeah. And I said, he said, not appear light because I'm taking a photo here. Thank you so much. Okay. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Uh, for Nitro Nani? Isaac. Isaac, nice to meet you. Thank you. Uh, me too. Okay, sir. Sir, Nitro Brian. Okay, fine. Oh, sir, oh. Santi. Sir, Santi. Uh, uh, I got a chance to take a photo inside this place because I'm all alone. I do these adventures when I'm all alone. And this, hey, this one is very dangerous. <laughs> This one, somebody could easily fall. You can see what's happening. The river coming down, down all the way to the other end. So let's keep on walking. That was our first, first bridge. Maybe in front we're gonna get to get other bridges. There's a head here. Is this Jesus or who? Very isolated here. And here, guys, look at this place. Very, very pristine. Look at that. Picnic site. Look at that. And this time I want to go down so that I see what's happening around this place. Look at that. This one you can come with your friends, chill. Make stories over there. Observe these uh, woods. You can come with your lover on this end. And here you could fish. Throw a hook in and fish. And enjoy. And just have time to network bond and connect with mother nature so here i have to bend down yeah. and here also i have to bend down and we have to go that way we climb up back to the ah, back to the rain this is me my camera and my lonely tour here Mind your facet because of these shallow uh, branches. The river over there once again. And we keep on walking. It's quite a stretch, but I know in the next 30 minutes we'll be done with this nature tree. So for those who are joining now, welcome to Kitale Nature Conservancy. This is in Kitale and this is home. This one looks dangerous. Looks dangerous. That's, that's a second mini mini bridge. And I can hear, can hear some noise, some music. 
proceed to Savannah Avenue. So I don't know if this video will have issues with copyright. The song on the background says, So, so take my pain away by Omalay or somebody. Is it Omalay? So, so take my pain away. Ah, ah. Dun, 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 ah. Ah, I don't pray, Muhammad. I don't break commandment. I just play for my sake. I my me. My voice is bad. Calm down. You can hear some beautiful birds making some noise, sweet noise. Here they are, sunbirds. Looks like a bronze sunbird over there. Look at that bronze sunbird and some company. So right now we are in the savanna, and we like to show you what's happening here in the savanna in Kitale. Nature Conservancy so that you guys can be able to appreciate what's going on in this place. So this is the savannah. Ouch. Okay. I think <laughs> my leg got into a hole. So this is the savannah around this place here inside a swamp. National Park. So, let me give you better angles so that you guys can relate with what I'm talking about. So this is me in the woods, in the savannah. This thicket uh, plants, aquatic plants. When it rains, this place becomes very, very swampy. Just like say was swamp and sometimes it becomes unpassable and just so this is me follow me come with me there's some background music playing over there but then we just have to do it because it's a public space so no private if the copyright will bring issues, then we will discard the video, but I hope that not bring issues. So this is another better view from the sky. And this is me walking. The background music is doing its thing. So right now, I want to go to the dangerous place. Maybe I could see some snakes deep inside here. So this is the second bridge. This one, mega bridge. And there's a water source over there, but we'll get to that. So first we go across this. The water is stagnant here. So we cross. Now we are on the other edge and also another not so big bridge but a, a small one hey, it's very rotten you have to be very careful and another small small one walking in the woods in this amazing nature conservancy so right about now we're just going to walk around 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 and see what Kitale Nature Conservancy Nature Tree is made about or is made up of. I was here a few months ago so if you want a detailed description go to the previous videos and learn more about this place. But for now I just came to enjoy the nature trail.
and actually today is a, a bit noisy because of uh, some events happening around this place so there's some music behind the on the background that is so we are here in the woods and now let's enjoy what Saiwa not Saiwa nature Italy Nature Conservancy has to offer look at this view This place could be a big, big river or lake if all these places could be dug properly. It could be a very big, big or humongous lake if it is dug. But is it? So if this place could be dug, it could be a very big lake or a very big river. I don't know the standards of a water body to be recognized as a river, lake or ocean but I tend to believe if this place were dug up properly it could make a very good man-made lake or something because it's so big and then probably they could change their name to Kitale or Ndura, Ndura River Conservancy so you could come and, and enjoy what's happening here. For those who are lovebirds, you can see a lot of lovebirds around this place and they are enjoying themselves inside this amazing, amazing woods. So if you are a love and you want to beat around the bush, this is the place you could bring your loved ones and you could enjoy bonding in this green lodge. For those who know what I'm talking about, we have the Green Lodge provided by Mother Nature and Open Skies. Yeah, you'll have a good time. Come make your marriage work here. Come have a good time with your loved one. <laughs> Some guys are kissing, man. Over there. I don't want to interrupt them. Let's see. <laughs> I'm all alone here and guys are having a good time and I was just talking about the lovebirds and over there you can see some lovebirds kissing romantically, passionately and deeply in a very sensual way. And I am very respectful because this is mother nature provides for them to bond and uh, have a good time but now I have to finish my video so let me go and interrupt them so let's do this together over there they are still kissing I will tell you guys when they stop maybe ah nice <laughs> they are stopping so we all look <laughs> together we look at each other they are bonding Bonding, bonding. They are over there. Oh my goodness, I wish I could have my other, my specific other, so that we could come and enjoy this moment. There's a bridge here, and also the swamp. So we keep on going. So let's keep on. Over here, there's a place you could come and chill, like our lovebirds, and just bond. But now they have company. We just destroyed a very romantic, passionate moment over there. The deep kisses in the woods. We just brought everything to a standstill. But now more people are passing. So it was. At the end of the day, we have to achieve this amazing, amazing video. 
So that was it. We just stopped a very romantic affair. We were beating around the bush and we found somebody who is not beating around the bush who has gone straight into the main points. So anyway, this is nature. Every mode. Everybody must enjoy nature and have a good time as well. For the nature lovers and the people who come just to unwind and show you around. What is that? There's a snake or something. Here. Something just moved. I don't know what it is. But something just moved. Anyway, let's proceed. We are almost coming to the end of the nature walk. I promise you guys this video will be 30 minutes long, but we stopped there to take photos and okay, I stopped to take photos and it took some bit of some time. And you guys want to keep my words so let's compensate the lost time and finish in style Abarizen. Abarizen means how are you guys it's a swahili for how are you guys so Abarizen. and then you say mzuri sana but to mean very good but they said fiti the local slang fit is like fit okay or Chinese you say henha or fechangha that's most def most probably henha so guys this was just a quick one I hope you guys loved it there's one bridge I want to show you guys here in Kitale Nature Conservancy one big big bridge it's almost around this place or this corner these are traditional or uh, bush bananas but they don't produce the bananas oh the bridge is over there and uh, and see some lovebirds also there so let's go and destroy another moment here we are second last bridge and maybe the last bridge. I wish I could see a snake or something. But now those are very secretive. I really wish I could see a snake. But now I couldn't. Are these love birds or are their brothers and sisters? They look so young. And they are holding very passionately. This one is so let's go around to that place. I think these are just more small ones trying to have fun. I think this is the last bridge and then we finish with this is the last bridge I was telling you guys. Yeah, and see the last bridge and having crossed here comes to the end of our episode on the nature tree so this is it the final bridge goes all the way up to that and I'm here in the middle of the bridge and I can enjoy the water flowing from the other end coming all the way from this other end you can see activities happening around this place so sorry. so this is it you can see the bridge very strong this one is a very very strong one so ladies and gentlemen that has been my time this is Anoto in China and this is Kitale Nature Conservancy in Kenya Africa in Kitale Tanzania County Thanks for tagging along. It's been a pleasure. Once again, this is Anoto in China. See you in the next one.
Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you.